hi guys welcome to my youtube channel and in this video i will briefly discuss about combination of capacitor or capacitor combination mostly there are two types of capacitor combination which is series combination and parallel combination let us discuss one by one in case of capacitor combination the first type is a uh, series combination of capacitors and the other type is known as a uh, parallel combination of capacitors here is a series combination according to its name we can justify that series is a combination in which two capacitor or more than two capacitors are connected by head to head connections but in case of parallel combination it can be justified that or it can be defined that two or more than two capacitors can be connected in case of parallel or placed one above the other in case of parallel combination as we can illustrate in this diagram this is a series combination of three capacitors which is known as c1 having capacitance c1 c2 and c3 respectively but in case of parallel combination of capacitors the one capacitor is placed above the other and the third one will also placed above or below the other one and the all the sides or right sides of the capacitors are connected by one terminal and the left side are connected to the other terminal so these capacitors and capacitors are known as c1 c2 and c3 these are the combination of capacitors or two types of combination furthermore we will discuss a series combination of capacitor in very good or great explanation by illustration their formulas as well as diagram in this diagram or in this type the series capacitors are connected by their uh, series combination or head to head combination or head to head connections in which one capacitor having capacitance c1 is connected to the other capacitor c2 and these capacitors are connected in series by a switch or battery so please remember that this voltage or switch or battery is not mentioned in the book so please understand that without the voltage and switch there will be no current flow through these capacitance so in order to understand this please connect voltage or battery and switch uh, with the series combination of capacitors so we know the formula q is equal to cv so we can deduce the value of voltage from this expression v is equal to q over c so in case of uh, series combination voltage changes but current remains same so in this expression voltage across c1 will be v1 and voltage across capacitance c2 is known as v2 and similarly voltage v3 across c3 so v1 is equal to q over c1 from this expression and charges remain same because current remains same so charges will also remain same so v2 is equal to q over c2 and v3 is equal to q over c3 so in order to understand the series combination of capacitors so all the voltages will be added in order to calculate all the total capacitance of the uh, all the combination of capacitors so v1 v is equal to v1 plus v2 plus v3 and so on in case uh, we have three capa three capacitance so the voltages will be v1 plus v2 plus v3 so total voltage is equal to q over ce which is equivalent capacitance and v1 is equal to q over c1 and we will put the values of v1 v2 and v3 in this expression so we will get the value of all the capacitances and uh, combination of capacitances in series so 1 over ce is equal to uh, 1 over c1 plus 1 over c2 plus 1 over c3 and the q is taken as common from the right hand side so q over ce is equal to q into 1 over c1 plus 1 over c2 plus 1 over c3 this will be the final expression of the series combination of capacitors so in this case q can also be cancelled out so 1 over ce becomes 1 over c1 plus 1 over c2 plus 1 over c3 and in this case you can see that the equivalent capacitance can be less than individual because it is inverse here 1 over c this needs to be remembered that in the series combination of capacitors the equivalent capacitance is less than individual capacitance so let us explain the 
parallel combination of capacitors how these capacitors are connected in parallel and how we can calculate the equivalent capacitance of the each capacitors in order to understand the parallel combination so we have previously discussed that the parallel combination of capacitors is that the one capacitor is placed above or below the other in order to uh, connect the uh, all the sides so the one terminal or all this uh, terminal of the right side are connected to the one side one terminal and all the terminal of the capacitors are connected to the left side so these capacitances are connected with the voltage or battery and along with the switch because in order to understand this we need to apply some voltage and switch so after that or except the voltage we cannot calculate the equivalent capacitance so uh, the current in this case uh, we have seen that in the previous lecture the current divides in case of parallel combination but voltage remains same so i all the students should need to remember that voltage remains same in the parallel combination and current uh, uh, current continues to change in each of the branch so first of all we need to calculate the current in each of the case we know that q is equal to cv this expression is very valid in order to understand the capacitor combination either it is series combination or it is parallel combination so we can calculate the value of q1 q1 is the charge or current passing through the capacitance one which will be q1 is equal to c1 into v1 so v1 cannot be written as v1 v2 because current because voltage remains same and current is going to change in every time so q1 is equal to c1 v q2 is equal to c2 v and q3 is equal to c3 v in order to further understand this or uh, we need to calculate the total current or total charge passing through these capacitors so it will be q is equal to q1 plus q2 plus q3 so this is a final expression in order to understand the change in currents in every branch of the parallel combination of the capacitors so q total is equal to cev or equivalent resistance of voltage plus v1 into c1 into v plus c2 into v and c3 into v because these are the values of uh, charges q1 plus q2 plus q3 so we will take so we will take v as common from the right as right sides of the equation so c e will become v c1 plus c2 plus c3 because v is cancel out from both of the sides so from this expression you have seen that the equivalent resistance or equivalent capacitance in this case will be greater than individual capacitance uh, separately because you uh, if in the answer book or in the exams you can write like that the equivalent capacitance in in case of parallel combination is greater than individual but equivalent capacitance in case of series combination will be smaller so in this case you need to remember that voltage remain constant but current keep changing in parallel combination of the capacitors because we have seen that at every branch current is going to change that's why we have written that i1 across c1 and i2 passing through c2 and i3 passing three passing through c3 so this is a combination or complete explanation of series and parallel combination of capacitors up till now we have finished about this topic and if you have any question you can contact me at my email address and if you want to learn something you should contact me thank you so much bye bye